What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mellow. I have not seen this movie. All right, I know there's gonna be some people that's gonna be like, oh, I don't believe that you haven't seen this movie. I'm going to show you the proof. I have not seen this movie. I only go to AMC theaters. There's only a couple times that I'll go outside of AMC theaters and that's only to see movies in like 4DX, which is a Regal theater. And I've only done that once so far because they just built a 4DX theater in my state. Finally, I've been wanting them to build one for the longest. I do know that there is a deleted scene. There, the Joker deleted scene, so I'm spoiled about that I was hoping that he was not gonna be in this movie I'm kind of upset that he's in this movie because now I feel like it has taken some shine away from the Riddler like why does everything got to be the Joker and another thing when it comes to like this world I got a question for y'all who do y'all think is going to be the next villain for the sequel but yeah I know that there is a deleted scene so one of the things that I am going to do is after we do this movie reaction I am going to include a reaction of me in this same video reacting to the deleted it seen here you go here's the proof right here you can see i only saw spider-man no way home the thing is i don't really go to the movie theaters nowadays anymore unless it's like a movie that i'm really anticipating to see and that i know is going to have an audience there where you can feel the energy especially now that i do this on YouTube, why the hell would I go to the movie theaters to watch a movie? Before we get into this movie reaction, if you would love to see my full link reaction to this movie and all the TV shows that I'm doing now or any other movies that I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. Shoot, but with all that being said, y'all, let's get into this movie reaction. <laughs> Hmm, I like that slight little handheld cam effect on the logos. Already I can get the difference in tone between this and the other Batman movies. What the fuck is this weird breathing and stuff? That subtle Batman logo was different. Like there was no loud epic music. Yo, he's really killing this dude. Oh, I thought he really killed him. The way it looked like he stabbed him, it looked like he really killed him. Now I already know there's going to be some people who are subscribed to my channel, cinephiles and old school film fans. They would love that I'm watching this because they do not like that I'm watching these Disney movies and chick flicks or whatever. Murder and drug use are at historic highs. We have a masked vigilante running the street. Right, under my administration, the Gotham PD has dealt major blows to organized crime and drug trafficking. See that boy looking like uh, just another ordinary day in Gotham. Okay, and I will not rest. So we got a masked vigilante. The drugs have gotten worse. Oh my God. This dude was really standing behind him that whole time. That scared the hell out of him. But I thought we were getting a bump in the new post poll. He can't feel this dude in the room? Like, this dude has no peripherals. Coming I would've had like a little itch in the back of my neck or something, but like, bro, what the hell? Oh! What the hell? Yo, this is how we start? What the hell type of tool is that? Thursday. October 31st. Well, you know, they gotta show the villain do something in the beginning of the movie. Bro, that was creepy, man. It's like the dude was just embracing what he has done. Oh my God, I, I love that monologue. Just the delivery that Robert Pattinson brought to that monologue. That sound like Bruce Wayne. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. Man. Come on, man! What are you doing? They always gotta have one dude who doesn't necessarily want to be in the game. It's like some young buck, but he's only in there because he has no other choice, really, because he grew up around this. Now knock his ass out. That's the whole point of this gang, is just to knock people out. Oh, shit. 
I just like that effect of just hearing him walking towards them and then coming into the light. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. Give me more. I want more. <laughs> I love that shot, bro. <laughs> bro. This is a great scene to show in the trailer. For all the people that's like wondering why I'm laughing so much, and I know there's probably gonna be some people putting it in the comments. I'm hype. I laugh when I get hype, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro, you almost killed that man. You can already tell there's something wrong with that man right there. I mean, of course, you know, we all know what happened to his parents and stuff, but just to look at his eyes and just the way he was moving and how he was just like stone faced while he was doing all of that kind of. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, don't let me embarrass you in front of all your friends right here, dude. You, you and that porn mustache. You better get your hand off of me, man, before I break every bone in your wrist. Shoot, if I was him, I would have, like, shoulder bumped him. Oh, my God. That's another great shot. I'm, I'm already liking what they have been doing when it comes to showing just the back of Batman. Detective. Damn, that's sick. Excuse me. <laughs> Most of it's from his hand. Yo, for real? We showing that? He was alive when it was cut off. Yeah, you can tell this dude is just distant from the world. Having a clue? Let's play a game, just me and you. What does a liar do when he's dead? Uh, I guess shut the fuck up. I don't know. Oh, come on, man. We ain't got time for this. What type of puzzle is that? What's going on here? The riddle. What does a liar do when he's dead? He lies still. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think of that. That is smart. Kid found him. Oh, okay. Man, he can relate to that kid, man. Don't try to turn into me, man. One of the things that I'm going to put a theory out, maybe that kid might be like Robin in the future. Something in the way. City's eating itself. Yeah, that sounds like Gotham. Maybe it's beyond saving. Yeah, that's why you're here, bro. You the only one that can change it. Been hearing this song pretty much everywhere on TikTok and stuff. One of the things that I like is whenever a certain movie or TV show is really good, you start to hear the songs that will be involved in that show or movie, especially if it's like a classic song. And I know a lot of older people, they love that. Behind the mask. That was a cool shot of the uh, back cave right there. I have to force myself to remember. Everything that happened. Bro, you put that in your eye every night, man. I couldn't do that. You gotta put the paint in your, around your eye, and then you gotta put the contact in your eye. That's too much, man. Yo, this dude seriously needs some therapy, man. Or he's probably beyond therapy now. I'm actually surprised that Robert Pattinson even agreed to be Batman, especially with how toxic the fandom is today when it comes to anything, Star Wars or comic books or whatever, Harry Potter. And then I just thought him being an actor, he didn't want to be involved in like those big projects. But I mean, like who wants to turn down being Batman? And then who wants to turn down all that damn money too? <laughs> if this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing. Left. I don't care about that. You don't care about your family's legacy. What I'm doing is my family's legacy. Yeah, his family's legacy. I can't change things. He's almost here. dead. Especially after what he saw to that kid, man. He saw himself in that kid. He don't want to see any more kids have to deal with stuff like that. Damn. Boy, got them traps. All right, I see you. Even though he got a bulletproof suit, he still be getting scarred up and bruised up. He's only a partial key. It only gives us H, E, L, I, S, and T. So I'm looking for any double symbols to start and see where it leads. That's interesting. 
it's nice to see Andy Serkis doing some real acting right here. I like the direction that his career has been going lately. You just only got let us realize still and leave the rest. Like, yeah, I understand. You sure this isn't a leap? Drive could mean anything. You don't trust me? It's been two years now and I don't even know who you are, man. Man, why the hell would I tell you who I am? Come on now. USB port. Wait, what would give you the thought to even look what? for that? Thumb ah, ah. drive. Thumb drive. I haven't heard anybody call it a thumb drive in years. <laughs> but that's why he's the world's smartest detective. Oh, this guy's hilarious. Uh, you haven't met anybody hilarious yet. So much for family values. It sent out the photos from my account. Damn. This dude was 10 steps ahead of y'all. Never get in there without a warrant. Shoot, you don't know who the hell you talking to, bro. I don't need warrants. No, I am. This dude just gonna come in through the front door? And this dude got some heavy feet too, man. Get out of here, freak. The little suit's gonna get all full of blood. Mine are yours. <laughs> come on, bro. You really gonna try me like that? The disrespect. I would have whooped they ass even harder than that. <laughs> oh, so this is that scene in the trailer? Damn, I thought he was like in a warehouse or something. This dude beating they ass in a club. Man, throw that bat at his ass. <laughs> Damn, this dude's suit is even bulletproof to shotgun shells. I guess we both are. I, I, bro, this dude better be in the running for a Golden Globe or an Oscar or something. This man, I mean, of course, with the makeup, but even with the voice and everything and the mannerisms, this dude is unrecognizable. Yeah, yeah that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> Mr. Vengeance here, yeah. You don't bite. My God, Zoe Kravitz is so freaking gorgeous, man. You gonna do this shit right here in front of my face? I wanna know who she is and what she has to do with this murder. Who's Maida? The mayor's. Oh shit, it is. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else I could do. I have heard HBO Max is trying to make a penguin show. Wow, it's crazy that y'all live in a, dis a disgusting place like Gotham. Y'all don't have no blinds. Y'all don't even try to cover up y'all windows. Dang, man, that wig looks so real. I didn't even know. I thought that she was like gonna cut her hair at some point in the movie. Okay, girl, I see you. You, you better show off. Yo, this boy Matt Reeves is really doing his thing when it comes to the directing, man. It's like I'm loving every shot. Man, she got that safe immediately. You know, that's Catwoman. You're pretty good at that. <laughs> oh, she quick. Oh my God, I'm loving her, this freaking choreography. Hmm. What an interesting first impression. Listen, honey, you got the wrong idea, okay? I didn't kill anybody. I'm here for my friend. Girl, you need to get you a different mask or something. Sound like you got snot all up in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I was hoping that they, uh, that they was gonna show like Batman's cape flapping when he was on the motorcycle. By a second high profile murder. Dang, both of y'all work at the club and y'all was about to get evicted? Like. Commissioner Pete Savage. He was found dead. This is the Riddler speaking. Yo, 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 what type of torture? When the truth about our city will finally be unmasked. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, that dude is insane, man. I think that that fits Riddler's character very well. He, I think he'll be that type of dude that will use social media to his advantage. 
My God, look at those eyes, man. She yeah, got like those honest. eyes that will friend. hypnotize a man, bro. She definitely got like some cat eyes. You got a lot of cats. Never think about strays. You're not safe here. Gee, you better get you and yo 13 or 20 something cats out of here, bro. He blasted these out after his message went viral. Bastard murders you and your reputation. Why would Pete get involved with something like this? Man, it's Looks Gotham. Like I'm not surprised. I was wondering when we was going to see some corrupt cops. That's like the stereotype in Gotham. It's like everybody's a corrupt cop except for Gordon. You make it sound like he had it coming. Bro, why you spell the A with a, a backwards D, bro? Like, come on, man. You smart with these riddles, but you don't know how to spell. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> I'm mad about you. Want to know my name? Just look inside and see. Hey. Follow the maze until you find the rat. Bring him into the light. And you'll find where I'm at. The hell is that? This dude got like probably a, a lot of Hallmark shelves in his damn house, bro. All these damn unique ass cards. Hey, why am I starting to feel like a fish on a hook? I didn't think she was going to be so acceptable to helping him. Look at me. Looks good. Mmm. Mmm. Can feel that tension already. Now I do know that this scene is like it's it's been like parodied on TikTok. Zoe Kravitz is a model, so she got that model strut. Oh, he's in this movie. Who was that? Oh. That's the DA. Gil Coulson. And he's coming over. You happy? Talk to him. <laughs> I mean, why would you look at him like that, though? Hey, aren't you the DA? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. We got a Scars guard in the movie, right? bro. Shoot, the Scars guards, they on the come up. You feel me? Got another one that's about to be in this Viking movie, The Northman. I, I can't wait to see that. I'm not going to see that in the theater. I might do a reaction to that. I don't know. I got a lot on my shoulders with that psycho running around. He's wasted. <laughs> no shit. I like this girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like you too. You shouldn't have told him that. That boy about to go crazy over you now. Dude probably about to start stalking you and stuff. Hey, what's this about a rat? Oh, snap. Okay, Selena. Best way of interrogation. I mean, we had an informant. We had big time information on Salvador Moroni. That's how we got him out of the drops business. This dude is beyond wasted if he's really talking about stuff like this. Hey. Oh, he's Carmel Falcone? Interesting casting, here. okay. Don't be a stranger. My God, man, this movie just making me feel icky, bro. Ugh. It's like everybody's corrupt. I see you around. Shoot, the only thing you're gonna be seeing is heaven, bro. Or probably not, you're probably gonna be going to hell. Why you gotta breathe like that, man? You can't breathe through your nose? I was hoping he was gonna keep wiping it so then we could get a clear view of the Riddler. Shit, that boy was like hyperventilating. He was like, I didn't know what the hell to do. Oh yeah, I know that they can't like fully show this. Isn't it amazing that this movie is finally made and it's out now, man? This movie was supposed to originally come out in like 2017, I think, or 2018. Gil's very nervous. I think the killer's targeting people close to that case. I worked that case. Riddler's not after you. How do you know? You're not corrupt. I'm liking the voice that Robert Pattinson chose to go with when it comes to the Batman. I thought that they were going to continue to do like the voice changer technology, like what Ben Affleck has. Rat with wings. Like slang for pigeon. Does that does that mean anything, Chief? Yeah, stool pigeon. I thought a rat with wings was a bat. 
looking at this whole movie so far, I feel like they have done perfect casting with almost everybody. Like I'm still questioning it when it comes to Robert Pattinson and I'm still questioning it when it comes to Riddler. But even though Robert Pattinson is doing a good job, even though he's very subtle and distant, but when you lose your parents like that at a young age, of course you will go crazy, man. But like, how do you grieve and stuff? Like you can see, he doesn't really want to look people in their face for long, unless it's like a criminal. <laughs> I do know also that WB released the funeral scene. I haven't seen that either. I did not see anything besides that one trailer that I did a reaction to. Brought out the one guy in the city more reclusive than me. Aren't you afraid someone will take a shot at you? Why? Because your father ain't around. Oz, you know Bruce Wayne? Wow, is that right? His father saved my life. You don't think that meant something he did then? It means he took the Hippocratic Oath. A lot of people's delivery when it comes to the lines that they are given, I feel like they did a great job with. Like the tone of voice they chose, the I could see that character actually talking like that, sounding like that. The family had to those wishing to honor the mayor's memory, consider a good way to make yourself look sus, bro. Especially you kept one hand in your pocket. God, but he deserved it. You know what I mean? Don't I know you? Bruce Wayne, why haven't you called me back? Girl, you know it was just a one night stand, you feel me? I thought we both knew. I'm gonna go pay my respects. Will you wait for me? I wanna continue this. Girl, this is not the time and place to talk about this. I understand that you feel like you're not gonna have another opportunity to talk to me, but come on, man, we're at a funeral right now. Excuse me, Chief. This dude really just standing in the middle of the freaking aisle, like, dude looks so weird. Oh, he's not again. Hey, Mr. Wayne. So I guess this dude has not gotten out of the house in probably like a year or so. People reacting like they haven't seen this man in a minute. There's a bomb around his back! Oh, so that is a bomb. Okay. Y'all need to get out the building. This man has not said not one word, really. But you can just see the emotion in his face, man. You see that this dude is just thinking about so much. Kind of like an introvert, which I think that's a, a cool decision that they went with when it comes to Batman. Uh, and Bruce Wayne being an introvert. Even though Bruce Wayne is supposed to be like a cover-up for Batman. I know like Batman is pretty much how he really is now. And Bruce Wayne is just a facade. So you tell me you've been sitting there waiting for somebody to answer the phone for like some hours, bro? That dude was probably like, oh my God, he finally answered the phone. So what would happen if he needed to use the bathroom? Like when Batman answered the phone. Unmask. Let's do it together, okay? We're live. They're here to watch our little trial. This dude really on Twitch. <laughs> Are you a car now, fool? <laughs> Since I was a child, I've always loved little puzzles. You want me to do puzzles? <laughs> Three riddles in two minutes. Um, you want me to <laughs> riddle number one? That scared the hell out of me a little bit. I mean, can you like uh, open the mouth part of your mask so I can understand you clearly? It's the whole system. Four, four, <laughs> Shit! Dang, this dude, Batman, is like indestructible. How is his face not like burnt up or whatever? <laughs> what is up with this dude, Riddler, bro? Why is he talking like that? You! <laughs> he was like, what you say about my mom, bitch? You protect Coulson's blood, it's on his hands. I mean, literally, yeah, it is on his hands. He would rather die than talk. What was he afraid of? You. Why doesn't this man like change his voice? Like he's not even trying. You could be an But I understand he do not even really get out the house. So. Why the fuck do you put your hands on, bro? Back off! Back off! Did this dude really just?
just grab me like that? Hey, what's the matter with you? Hey, don't be trying to show off in front of your boys, bro. Y'all lost your damn mind. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. Who the hell y'all think y'all dealing with? Hey, yo, tell Dusty Naps I want my fade later. <laughs> damn! Oh my! <laughs> oh my! God. Yo, I, I really like that whole sequence, man. You afraid of heights, bro? You Batman. Come on now. Oh, this dude got a wingsuit? I thought he just used his cape. Oh, that looked awful. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> bro, look at that. That looks silly. <laughs> Superhero land. Damn. Bro, that whole scene of him like wing gliding, it looked like somebody who didn't really have a budget. And you know, they just be laying on a green screen block or something and just make it seem like they flying or whatever. I wonder why they chose to have the penguin be Carmine Falcone's right hand man. I thought the penguin was like his own thing. I thought he had his own gang and all that stuff. Unless this is just like his origin story. Oh snap, so she is using the whip. <laughs> I didn't know if she was gonna use the whip or not, cause in Dark Knight Rises, she didn't use a whip. Sneaking up on girls in the dark? Is that why you work in the club? I mean, it's kind of my thing. Those assholes are coming back. Damn, well you got your answer right there. You can take that bag too. What were you thinking, Gordon? I appreciate the backup though, but like, that was just reckless, man. Hey, vengeance! He called him vengeance. Oh my God, that sound effect is freaking epic. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just heating it up a little bit, you know? You don't wanna just start and press on the gas too quick. That has to be one of my favorite scenes right there. That, that's one of the best Batman sound effects when it comes to the Batmobile I've ever heard, bro. I mean, like, I know the Tumblr kinda had that similar sound effect, but just that wind up and everything, oh my God. One of the things I really like about what they're doing with the music right now is it's, it reminds me of like the Batman animated series. <laughs> okay, I see you. You know how to whip that mozzie, all right? Like some Fast and Furious, who's gonna check it out? Yo, when I saw the picture of the Batmobile, I was like, oh, God, nah, that looks whack. This Batmobile right here looks freaking fire. I wonder what car he modded. <laughs> Bro, watching this car chase is making me want to play Batman Arkham Knight, man. Oh, that, that boy just got them brakes put in. Some good brakes. Now this is what you call a car chase scene. <laughs> Here we go with this scene. Say, what you say, bitch? Say that to my face, nigga. <laughs> Damn, he really hit on that hard. God. That kind of reminds me of my car accident because somebody hit me from behind and it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Pause. <laughs> Somebody hit me like at an angle and my car like almost flipped. <laughs> I was hoping that they was gonna do this. I, I was hoping it was not just for the damn trailer. <laughs> oh my God. That has to be the best Batman scene ever. Yeah, that boy's scared now. 
about you? What does that dude have in his boots, man? He got some heavy boots. Needed a minor league mope like you to run it. You don't just work for Kawhi Takon. Boy, you guys are a hell of a duet here. I was just about to say the same thing, bro. I like that whole dynamic duo they got going on. This is the first time that they actually like really went into this whole thing. And that's one of the things I've been wanting to say for a minute. I like the take that they went with some of these characters. It's love. Look at you two. World's greatest detectives. Oh! Am I the only one here knows the difference between Al and La? Jeez. No habla espanol. It's a rat with wings. You know what that sounds like to me? A friggin' bat. Exactly, bruh. That's what I've been saying. Like, what? I don't know why he was thinking of what he said, a stooge or something? I'm like, what? The hell does that mean? Is he here, isn't he? I mean, this is Batman when he's first starting out, so I'm not just going to expect him to be the world's greatest detective immediately. He has to get up to that point. He has to learn, you know? You guys realize I'm still here, right? You gonna tie me? <laughs> now that boy really walking like a penguin. <laughs> I would have thought Batman would have had something in his eyes where he could see in the dark. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Almost gave me a heart attack, bro. Damn junkies, man. But I like what I was about to say, seeing Batman carrying a flashlight is kind of weird to me. Cause I would have thought he would have had like some fancy technology or something. I believe in God, but too many have been left behind for too long. Is like that Thomas know, Wayne right there, or is this one? And renewing Gotham's promise. Jesus, his next victim is Bruce Wayne. Shit. <laughs> I wish it would, you feel me? <laughs> I wish he would. I don't know if I said this when I reacted to the trailer of Batman. I mean, it's, it's interesting the choice that a lot of people are taking when it comes to the story of Batman and Bruce Wayne. Cause nowadays, like I told you, I don't read comic books, but I'm starting to see there's somewhat of a trend nowadays where they're making it seem like Thomas Wayne, maybe even Martha Wayne, they were corrupt themselves. Come on, don't kill Alfred already, man. Oh, you in on this shit, bitch? Yeah, I'll see you there too, bitch, bro. You made this shit personal, man. Dude, really scrawny to be Batman. Since he failed to kill me, what's stopping him from trying again? You know, that signature shot right there, man. That's like an IMAX poster. And that was a great shot too. Her body was in his car. I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna make him pay. You gonna help me? Your friend got involved with the wrong people. She didn't know any better. Maybe you should have explained it to her. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Man, yeah, that doesn't sound like something Batman would say. Seemed like anybody who's somewhat corrupt, he's like, you deserve what you get. I wanna know why a guy like Falcone would owe you anything. Because he's my father! Oh! Shit. So Selena Kyle is a a list? Mother, when I was seven, my mother was murdered. Never found out who. Anyway, social services came to take me away and he didn't say a thing. Damn, that boy was like, bitch, I ain't got no responsibilities and I can just focus on making his money? He was like, hell yeah. Maybe we're not so different after all. You never know what people who are, are going through. There? So, I mean, you just can't judge them. This girl went all out. She got the nails and stuff. Are you just... Scarred. They probably have the second best chemistry amongst all the actors in this movie because I feel like Robert Pattinson and uh, Jeffrey Wright has the best chemistry amongst everybody. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. Oh, you just can't walk away like that. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this girl knows what she's doing, bro. You just see how both of them was looking at each other. It, it was like they were the only two people in the world. Thomas Wayne tried to force this crusading reporter into a hush money agreement, but when the reporter refused, Wayne turned to longtime secret associate Carmine Falcone and had him murdered. I hope you're listening, Bruce Wayne. This is your legacy, too. Man, what does that have to do with me, man? That's like some cancel culture shit. What does that have to do with me? Do you know who I am? 
Bruce Wayne. I want to see Carmine Falcone. See. You can't put two and two together, he said. Almost the exact same stuff in the exact same tone. Was standing almost the exact same way. All that shit. I've been like, you Batman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold up, bro. That sounds familiar, bro. Cause I definitely would remember that. As you can see, I got my ass whooped by your ass. Give us a moment here, fellas. They they captured Gotham very well, cause seen. like this room uh, right here, I can imagine this room thing. actually being in Gotham. Is it true? Your father wanted me to handle it, so I did. You thought your father was a boy scout. I mean, I thought he was too, but you know, when you see that uh, Batman Telltale game and then you got this, and I think there's like some other comic books that came out recently. They they all go on with the story of, I feel like, uh, I, I, I forgot his name. Is it John Totoro or something like that? I feel like when it comes to his performance as Carmine Falcone, he took a little inspiration from, of course, Marlon Brando from The Godfather, cause you can see he's real soft spoken as Carmine Falcone. I hope you and I are gonna ask him about this. Oh my God, this dude. Can you have waited until he got out of the hospital, man? I've spent fighting for him, believing that he was a good man. He was a good man. He was protecting your mother. This got my head racing now, man. Like, what can you believe? Might be some random thug on the street. It was my job to protect him. I wasn't equipped to take care of you you needed a father and what you had was me don't say it like that man like you ain't worthy of being a male model for me man i mean a, a male model <laughs> so see, don't say it like you can't be that male figure for me bro a father figure i'm not afraid to die but i realize now there's something this fear of losing somebody i care about Wow, they went deep when it comes to this Batman movie. They really going into these relationships and stuff. Damn, Selena! You'll never hear from me again, nobody will. Please, We're gonna please. get you out of here, I promise. Are you fucking kidding me, man? This dude is psychotic. He's like literally insane. He really killed this girl and strangled her and like he didn't raise his voice or nothing. He was just so calm about it. A falcon has wings too. Falcon is the rat. I got nine of them. Girl, you are so consumed with revenge. Okay, Batman, I see you. Hit him with a freaking Street Fighter uppercut. That was a Mortal Kombat uppercut. Bro, I really thought the Riddler was gonna have like some shine in this movie. This dude has like barely been in the damn movie. Hey, okay, Zoe Kravitz, see? Girl need to be in the Matrix with an outfit like that. Just put down the gun, honey. This is for my mother. Come on, man. Did all that just for you to miss. You might as well just fight him. You know, you Catwoman, you got them hands. She, like I said, this girl over here looked like she in the Matrix right now. <laughs> he was like, hey. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! <laughs> bro, they went all out for this movie, bro. They got so many epic. Batman shots. God! Ah! I wonder which comic books they took as inspiration for this story. I know a lot of people said that uh, Seven was like a little bit of an inspiration for this movie. I haven't seen Seven. I know a lot of people want me to watch it. This dude loves strangling people. Whatever I've done, it's all going with me. Yeah, we'll see about that when you get some broken bones. Where are you with Zorro over here? Zorro. Enjoy your night at Blackgate, Carmine. Probably be your last. Oh, so you're a big man now. Oh, so this is like Penguin's origin story. Okay. So now he's about to take over. Oh, he's just a gimp in an empty suit. I'll spray paint your ass! 
what just happened? That happened so fast. I think I saw a little scar in the shoulder right here. The shots came from up there. Why would he even stay there for them to see him and then he walks away? Wow, this dude was just hiding in plain sight pretty much in this busy area right across the street from the club. That's why he had those photos. Police! Hands up! Like, bro, can I drink my coffee first? I just ordered a slice of pumpkin pie. <laughs> Wait, nobody gives a damn about your pumpkin pie. The hell is wrong with this dude? I mean, he drew that question mark pretty nice, man. I, I probably, if it was me, I would have messed that up. Let's just hope and pray that she doesn't become corrupt. Obviously, he has a plan set. That's why he wanted to be caught. You really okay with this? What about chain of evidence? Bro, I'm the one that got gloves on. Why are you over there putting your fingerprints on every damn thing, fat boy? My life has been a cruel riddle I could not solve. The moment when I would learn the truth. Ah, well, you can tell this dude loves Saw. I know now what I must become. Drums. Drums in the deep. Oh my god, a bat! Oh, get off the bat! What is that? Bro, get off the bat, man. It, I hate bats. Oh man, he's been posting all kinds of shit online. He's got like 500 followers. 500 followers? Wow. <laughs> That's it? I thought that boy would have had like a couple thousand. Show me the post. This freaking stalker, man. Maybe this is all coming to an end. Yeah, I, I really want to hear this dude's confession. I want to know how he found out that Bruce Wayne is Batman. That dude's face is just so harmless, but weird at the same time. There's a lot of uh, serial killers that kind of look like how he's looking. I feel like that's one of the reasons why he be getting these roles a lot, because he has that like serial killer-like look. And he's a great actor, too. He knows how to play a sadistic type of person. They'll remember me now. They'll remember both of us. Bro, 500 people? Really? You gotta turn that camera off, bro. You can't let nobody know that you Bruce Wayne. The day the great Thomas Wayne announced he was running for mayor made all those promises. Well, a week later, he was dead and everybody just forgot about us. All they could talk about was poor Bruce Wayne. I mean, why you gotta be a hater, bro? Like, why can't you just be there for me? You feel me? Like, I just lost my parents. Looking down on everyone with all that money. Do you know what being an orphan is? Nah, I don't know. Like you said, you know, I got racks. You feel me? See, hey. numbing the pain, and every winter one of the babies die because it's so cold. What type of orphanages was this? Your mask is amazing. I wish you could have seen me in mine. Nah, his mask is kind of shitty compared to all, all the other ones. I don't really like his mask. mask. I hope they change it up in the next movie. I'm looking at the real you right now. My mask allowed me to be myself completely. Why did you write me? You showed me all it takes is fear and a little focused violence. You inspired me. You're out of your goddamn mind. I could tell that from the beginning of the movie. They both have the same like views, but they go about it the different way. Oh, not how this was supposed to go. How was it supposed to go? his second year man like give him a break <laughs> this boy over here singing now come on
I mean, that, that was a fantastic scene. To me, it wasn't as good as the Joker and Batman scene from The Dark Knight, but finally got to see this man show his acting chops. I mean, because like, I know he's a fantastic actor. The only movie I ever seen him in besides this one was Prisoners. I know a lot of people say that another one of his best performances is in the movie There Will Be Blood. And I've been meaning to watch that movie. I know I said I was going to watch it. I just, I ain't got enough time right now. You know, it's not like a priority to me right now, but I'll watch it eventually. So basically he got bombs all around the perimeter. Hey guys. Thanks for all the comments, and uh, a special thanks to everyone for the tips on detonators. No, he did not just say that shit. <laughs> you serious? This dude said, hey, thank you for uh, subscribing and uh, hitting that like button, you know, and uh, I appreciate the, the donations. <laughs> Make sure you comment and share. The day of judgment is finally upon us. I just hope that this doesn't inspire somebody in real life to do some weird stuff like this. Oh my god, you failed! We'll race through the streets in terror. Colcord. You'll be there waiting. Yeah, this definitely seems like something a Gotham villain would do, man. We spent our lives in this wretched place, suffering! I can't get through the lines of hell. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? This dude loves putting emphasis on certain words. Bro, they got like 50 dudes up there. Are you telling me nobody can see them? But say, if you get the shot, why not take it? Or are you just waiting for the right moment? problem with this city everyone's afraid to stand up and do the right thing but i'm not Except why are you so hard-headed girl come on like i was about to say like you can see this person <laughs> yes. boy came in clutch yeah i'm definitely gonna play arkham knight after this man League of Shadows! <laughs> Damn, he running through this whole thing smooth. Shoot, that's why uh, the Incredibles said, you know, it's not good to use capes. <laughs> Bruh, all this water just wasted away. Help me, baby. Oh, yes. Theatricality and deception. Powerful agents to the uninitiated. Oh, jeez! That's your first mistake. You take it forever. You should have been and shot me. Shoot, now my girlfriend is about to kick you in the face. Wifey should be coming in about any second now. You tell me that's it? <laughs> the f hey, bro, get your hand off my girl, man. Bro, I'm about to slap this dude like Will Smith, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this boy, what type of adrenaline was that? Yo, was that the venom that like Bane uses or something? Cause the dude became enraged. I was so into the scene. I don't even know if they like showed Catwoman looking at him crazy like how they did in the trailer. Oh, that's the dude that was at the, the you? funeral. I'm vengeance. Did you just take my shit? Like, why are y'all still here? And why would y'all go into a place like this where it can get flooded like this? I mean, if you cut it off though, wouldn't it still like put electricity in the water? Why y'all just sitting there? Get your ass out of here. Now y'all wanna move cause the car is about to fall. Of course that little kid is right there. 
so basically the riddler the riddler won the riddler rid riddler rid riddler isn't that nice the dark knight leading them into the light the city is underwater oh poor dog i can already see things will get worse before they get better vengeance won't change the past i have to become more you right about that man they can transform us they can give us the power to endure and the strength to fight yo this dude robert pattinson really be killing it in these monologues man these inner monologues what the hell are you crying for you won let me tell you there are worse things to be hey 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 yo joker this dude's not even listening to you, bruh. Like, I, if I was you, I'd just shut the hell up, man. Gotham loves a comeback story. Riddle me this. The less of them you have, the more one is worth. Uh, friends? <laughs> so, it's gonna be Riddler and Joker in the sequel. I guess, man. I, I was and hoping it would be somebody else, him. you know, like Scarecrow or Two-Face. You asking me to stay? Absolutely. You feel me? I was thinking you can uh, stay with me in my penthouse. You know what I mean? You know, I got you know, me an extra room. You know, so, you know, Alfred, he cook up some nice French toast, you know? <laughs> I have to try. It's going to kill you eventually. You know that. It's probably not going to kill him. It's probably going to break his back if they do bring in Bane. Why don't you come with me? The bat and the cat. It's got a nice ring. Yeah, I think that might be like a title of one of the comic books or something. I don't know. Why do they have to have Joker in here, though? Why can't they have like Scarecrow be the one to be like, hey, you know, I can be your friend or something. Anything but Joker. Like, I love Joker. He's my favorite comic book villain. Let's give some other people some shine, you know? Like, I know one of the stories that uh, Ben Affleck wanted to do was uh, something with Hush. They probably told this relationship between Batman and Catwoman better than The Dark Knight Rises did. I didn't see the Batman movie with Catwoman and that came out in what, the 90s, I think? Don't worry, she'll be back. Damn, that's the end? Caw, oh, come on, bro. I, I feel like that ending was, it was somewhat anticlimactic. But overall, the movie was a it was a great film, man. I enjoyed it. It's not as good as The Dark Knight, but it is better than Dark Knight Rises. The performances were fantastic. I love the soundtrack. The directing was great. Cinematography was great. I wish there were some things that they would have changed when it came to the story, though. Boy, it looks so damn hideous, man. Why they chose that design, bruh? What makes you think I come so cheap? I thought you'd be curious. You think I go off in this stuff? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> it's so baroque. This boy don't have no nails. He makes little puzzles, doesn't he? I know who he is. Who is he? He's a nobody wants to be somebody this is very very personal so he's already captured the joker why is he writing to me maybe he's a fan of yours what the fuck is up with his mouth maybe he's got a grudge against you too any theories so that's an interesting design choice to just have him covered up with a blur you are so much more fun i'm not here to talk about me what are you here to talk about i want to know how he thinks you know exactly how he thinks have you read this file you two have so much in common sound like you a little jealous you're wasting my time is is he still recovering from like Batman whooping his ass really badly or something? Yeah. You think they deserved it? <laughs> oh, I, I, oh my God! With him falling in that acid pit that turned him into the Joker, I know that he probably still has scars from that. But I'm also thinking that he is still recovering from getting his ass whooped like really badly from Batman or something like I mean I like the tension in the scene it was really good uh, the dialogue was nice 
I, I got the vibe of Joker, yes, and it was something completely different, which is another good thing because you got to stand out. You can't be the same as the previous Jokers. Man, one of the things that I do like is that Batman came to him kind of like a how the one girl from Silence of the Lambs came to Hannibal Lecter for help. I know some people probably might find that a little bit upsetting or whatever, but it's like it's only Batman's second year. He's only been Batman for two years. Like he, he has to get up to that point. He's not going to be Batman immediately. That's one of the things a lot of people don't get. It's just like they feel like they make these movies and these people are supposed to automatically be what they are accustomed to from reading in the comic books or seeing in cartoons. That's one of the things I love about the whole Spider-Man trilogy right here. Now he's finally Spider-Man and you're going to start to see that a lot nowadays. All right, everybody. And that was the Batman. This movie was beautiful. It was an epic movie, but at the same time, it wasn't better than The Dark Knight. It, it was close. Uh, the performances were great. The soundtrack was amazing. The choreography was nice. The cinematography was really good, but I still got the same question for y'all. Like, which villains would you like to see in the sequel? Which villains do you think will be in the sequel? I hope that they have Scarecrow. I would love to see what they do with Two-Face. He will look like damn near an alien. <laughs> <laughs> the dude would look nasty. It would probably make you want to throw up. But I felt like what they did with the Dark Knight with Two-Face was very good. Like, how can you top that, really? I like that they added more of a drama into this film, uh, more of a mystery into this movie, you know, with the detective scenes. I don't know if I interpreted the ending right, because to me, I felt like the Riddler won, but he was crying and stuff, and it was sad, like he lost. I know a lot of people will say this movie was pretty long and they can feel how long the movie was. I kind of agree. I've heard from reports that Matt Reeves has actually shot so much more of this movie. I'm expecting that probably sooner or later, they're going to release like a four hour cut. When it comes to the suit, I'm still not a big fan of the suit. It was growing on me, but it's like probably one of my least favorite suits out of all the Batmans in cinematic history. Zoe Kravitz did so good. It's like every movie I see Zoe Kravitz in now, she just gets better and better. The chemistry between her and Robert Pattinson was just beautiful. Colin Farrell did exactly what I hoped he would do and what I knew he would do, and he blew this role out of the park. Of course, Jeffrey Wright, he did a fantastic job as Gordon, especially his voice fits Gordon so well. I hope that they changed the suit, but I just really hope that you enjoyed watching this movie with me and you enjoyed this video. You know, please like, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload more videos. And then follow me on all my social medias. You know, the links will be down in the description below, like Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Twitch, stuff like that. And if you want to see my full length movie reaction to this, the other movies I do, and then the TV shows that I do, you can click the link down below to my Patreon. I will go ahead and give this movie a 9B+. Yeah, but with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.